All right, here we are, back to some grass. That's right, no going backward allowed, so that's why I paused the comeback. But here we are, feeling great, and we gotta give it another go, you know? You don't know unless you try, right? So we're gonna give it another go and just see if it feels better. If it doesn't feel better, we'll pause again. And right now though, we're looking real, real good. So I think I'm gonna go with actually the Terra Kigers because it's a slightly uh, lower drop. I believe four millimeters, maybe five, I think it's four. And uh, just to take as much uh, potential pressure off of the metatarsals as possible, I do think higher drop shoes like a 12 in the Brooks Ghost lineup or many Nike shoes like the Turbos that have 10 uh, puts a little more pressure on the metatarsals just because your your heel is up and so if you just look at the physics of it like you're, there's just a little more weight bearing happening on those bones. So anyway, here we go, Terra Kigers on the grass and uh, gonna go two miles, nice and easy, bopping along and uh, bottom line though, as I said yesterday after camping, we're feeling very, very, very good. Okay, where are my socks? And by the way, it's finally nice. Like it, it snowed 18 inches in the mountains this past weekend in Colorado, 18 inches. And it's what, June 23rd, 24th? Striving, striving to drink more water. Laced up, feeling good. Get some stretching on. Okay, okay, just taking it easy. Two, two miles in the books, 11 minutes a mile, nice and easy. Ah, just waking, waking those legs up, if you know what I mean. Holy smokes. Okay. All right, I think the Terra Kiger 5s were a good choice, very good choice. And uh, I'll tell you how it went back in the studio. Oh, I need some water, it's hot. And break. Thanks for lunch, hon. Salad. 
little salad, a little ultrasound, bone healing system time, water, and a little chocolate. Yeah. Oh, I appreciate that. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. I know. I gotta do better at hiding it. I need to do better at that out. Well. I can't believe you're so sweet. That's amazing. Round three. And here we are in the studio. I survived the pirate ship with the boys, and they did give me the nickname of Peg Leg Pirate. Yep. What are you going to do? Because of my boot on my foot. That's right. There. You, at this point after, gosh, eight weeks now plus of being in the boot, they're used to the boot on my leg. So they're, they're dubbing me Peg Leg Pirate when we're, pay, when we're playing pirates. Anyway, I digress. Okay. How did the foot feel on the run today? Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Didn't feel a thing for the two miles. Now it was a very, you know, easy pace, slow pace, 11 minutes a mile, just bopping along on soft, freshly cut grass. So we'll see how it feels tomorrow, all right? And the next day, okay? Now I put myself back in the boot, even though I just ran two miles, to take every precautionary step to make sure I'm not going too quickly while still attempting to come back. You know, it's like, I don't want to sit on the sidelines forever. So that's why I tried it again today and it felt perfect. Just like at the beginning of the, before the run, when I was walking around, like I couldn't feel a thing up camping this weekend, couldn't feel a thing. And that's why I was like, okay, maybe we've turned a corner here. And I, frankly, it does feel different than June 5th when I, when I took these steps on Folsom Field, no, not Folsom Field, this grass field in Boulder, it does feel a little more nimble, a little stronger, the left foot compared to the first go around. So that is a good sign. And of course, I'll continue to stay off my feet as much as possible, even though I am sometimes pirate duties do call every now and then, but I'll try and rest as much as possible eat healthy, right? Just continue to put good nutrients and minerals into the body as much as I can. And then also using the Exogen ultrasound bone stimulating system. Uh, seems, I don't know, it's ever since, okay, I'll just say like, since I started using it six days ago, the foot hasn't felt this good, you know, since before the injury. Now I realize we're on the tail end of the injury, but anyway, I'm gonna keep using it and hopefully again, knock this out as quick as possible. Okay, and one more topic for this evening. Hold on, let me just grab this here. Okay, so here's my three books that I'm reading right now. And I want to ask this, oh yeah, keyword books, question of the day, what is on your 2019 summer reading list? All right, I love reading. I wish, I used to read a ton. With the daily vlog though, frankly, it just doesn't happen. I, I, it's so sad, but I'm willing to sacrifice that passion of mine. Like if you look inside our house, like we have a lot of books, but I have to stay up at night editing the vlog and, and I love it. I love doing that as well. So I'm unable to read as much as I would like, but during the summer months, I do try to carve out a little more time to get in some reading. So question of the day, what are you reading right now for me? Yes, Mickey Mantle of the Yankees, learning about Mickey Mantle. Uh, let's see, running the mile you're in by Ryan Hall. That's right, Running the Mile You're In, the famous American marathon runner. And then this book I actually picked up last uh, month in the month of May. It's called Running Is My Therapy. And why did I pick this book up? Basically, I get a lot of questions and thoughts down in the comments and via email from a lot of folks out there just sharing challenges in their life with me. And basically, I want to be able to uh, provide as much insight as possible and guidance as possible when I'm responding to you via email or, or Instagram or wherever it is uh, on tough topics, mental health uh, challenges in you know relationships, all sorts of things are thrown my way and I'm happy to field as much as possible but keeping in mind like I'm obviously not a therapist but so anyway I picked up this book just to go over some of the basic science behind how running literally helps our brain and helps, yes, our mental health. So I'm really excited about this one. I just started it, so I can't really tell you my thoughts too much on it yet, but it's called Running Is My Therapy. So stay tuned for probably more 
maybe even a full review of this running book very, very soon. All right, that is it for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. And I'll keep you updated on how the foot feels tomorrow. We'll just one day at a time. Patience, patience, patience. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Seek beauty, work hard.